troops are in the area. Borders! Fall back! Get out of here! Take cover! I'm Herman Hulst, I'm the Managing Director for Guerrilla Games. I feel like I uh, kind of finally understand my wife, uh, having given birth, so to say. Uh, but no, honestly, it's, it's been great. Uh, the feedback uh, has been hugely positive. Uh, we've come from a game, uh, Kills on One, that was you know, received pretty okay, a 7 out of 10 on average. And, uh, now with the average scores uh, uh, well north of uh, of nine, uh, it's you know the, the guys back at the studio are ecstatic and uh, talking to a lot of the guys here at, at the game developers conference, getting all that uh, that feedback from the peers has been phenomenal. I think it's fair to say that there was quite a lot of pressure on on the project uh, from the beginning. But it's an important realization that that pressure was very much self-imposed. So we created that trailer that was uh, that was released. Uh, uh, it's quite infamous now at the E3 in 2005. But it was our own creation. It was our own vision for the for the game. Uh, and I think we're at Guerrilla quite good at, uh, at at putting that pressure upon ourselves. We like to shoot for the stars, and that's just the company culture. And that's just how we select the people that uh, that join the team and that work with us. Uh, so it's because it's self-imposed, it's kind of a lot easier to deal with. The most difficult thing, I think, was that we for a long time couldn't talk about the game. And it's been, it was in development for four years and for quite a while we had nothing to say to our friends and family. And that makes it kind of difficult. But once we could come out and show a level, you know, people know, knew at least what we were doing and that made it a lot easier for us. In Kills on One we actually had four playable characters and uh, we clearly took a very, uh, very uh, good view on what worked and what did not work. We did a solid post-mortem on Kills on One. Uh, one of the things that we conscientiously changed was uh, the fact that we, in Kills on Two, had one playable character. Uh, I think that the simple reasoning was that we didn't want to um, spread ourselves too thin on the scripting. You're essentially, in a way, creating four games and we didn't want to do that. So we wanted to have one story, basically, that we're telling and wanted to do it well. So that, that's the reasoning behind that. People think that Killzone 2 is all about the graphics, but if you go back to that original trailer, um, I think we can break it down to three things. It was, first of all, the intensity of the gameplay experience, secondly, the chaos of the world in which the players submerged, and thirdly, uh, the benchmark of the visuals. And uh, if I look back and I sort of evaluate that against uh, the title, then uh, against the trailer, then uh, I think we. Um, uh, we have matched that, uh, that chaos and that intensity and I think in many ways we've surpassed that, that visual benchmark. So what we were after in terms of controls was uh, an experience that's a little bit slower, a little bit heavier, uh, perhaps inspired by Kills and Liberation, somewhat more tactical as well than your average shooter. Uh, and that comes back in, in the controls as well, so you know, sometimes things are a little bit slower. Uh, but that's, that's very much conscientious, as far as I'm concerned. We, uh, we did have one issue with regards to the responsiveness of the system. I think there was an unnecessary one frame delay, so one thirtieth of a second. And uh, to many people that can be quite annoying, so we patched that and we fixed that, so fortunately. Uh, so the multiplayer, I think from day one, was always going to be as important as a single player campaign. And what we set as the ambition for it was, first of all, it had to look just as good, which I think is, uh, is acceptable for a multiplayer compared to single player. Uh, we also wanted it to be very customizable, so we, we let you tweak the game, we let you select every single option that we have available. Uh, we also uh, were after very, uh, a very accessible uh, game, so there's something for everyone there. You can pick it up and play, and it's an easy quick join, uh, but when you uh, as a new player, get into the game, the, the weapons that you've got available will, I think, give you a very balanced experience. Uh, so you're not outgunned by people that have been playing and have been making uh, progress through the ranks uh, quite a bit already. So it's, it's well balanced and it was another very important uh, aspect of that. We've had kills on two multiplayer up and running for about three years now. So what we do at the studio is every single Friday, 
everybody drops whatever they're doing and they play the game online. We call it our Friday Freck Fest. It's 5 p.m. Uh, and what that does is, well, first of all, everybody understands what the game is that we're making. But more importantly, the game designers, the online designers, get feedback from everybody in the company. When you get that, that much early uh, user testing, uh, I think that greatly uh, adds value to the balancing, to the quality, that tells you what works, what doesn't. Uh, so I think it's, it's had a, a major uh, positive impact on the, uh, on, on, on the final product. Good to see you're back in action. Now we just need to rendezvous with our platoons in the city. Yeah, so the, the story of Killzone 2 is uh, its an important element of it. It's, it's the first time that we're taking the war back to the home planet of, of the enemy. Uh, so Killzone 1, as you know, was placed on Vector. And now we're, uh, we're part of this, let's call it the preemptive strike. Uh, we're going in, uh, to Helgas, to, to Helgan. What's great about that is we let you explore the world uh, of the Helgas. And, uh, at the end of the day, I think uh, Killzone 2 is much more about action than it is about storytelling. But we have on Killzone.com, and I recommend everybody just checks that out, uh, a, a great deal of background, so go check it out. The way I look at the release of Killzone 2 uh, last February is, is it's very much the beginning of an ongoing service. So we're, uh, we're very committed to backing it up with, uh, with more content, and uh, I think you can expect that at regular and frequent intervals. And you know, it, it'll include some interesting things and we'll come back to you, uh, I think, pretty soon with some more details on that.